All right, this looks like uh, part three, page five to me. Part three, page five, the Christine essay. And my goodness, this is just, these are so easy. I mean, I don't know what to do. Uh, these are just simply 12-point comprehension lessons. And it will be the same thing over and over and over again. When you read this over, you're going to see that this is expository text. And you'll look at the child's written response to that uh, question, and you'll see clearly that the child is having problems with the following. The child skips details. The child invents details. And finally, the child simply misinterprets. And that's what these children do in all of these comprehension questions. So the only difference in this one that you'll have to, uh, the only modification you'll have to make is this. Instead of doing a story map, you're going to do an outline. And you can do some kind of a graphic outline if it's compare and contrast. Maybe you want to do a Venn, or maybe you want to do like a, a, a cause and an effect map, for example. Or why don't you maybe just consider doing your, the prosaic, and proverbial traditional outline that that would be fine let's uh, turn the page and take a look at an, at another question and then I will actually walk you through um, an answer though I mean it's the same thing over and over again this is expository text it says that snakes are found in all parts of the world except near the poles they are cold-blooded animals which means their body temperature goes up and down along with the temperature outside that's an important detail this says, though many snakes are famous for their dangerous venom, others have become popular pets. Unfortunately, this is yet another cause of the decreasing numbers in the wild. Well, when you read the student's response, you can see right here that when asked where do they live, they live all over the place, they don't really get cold. Wow, that's wrong. So the child had problems with details. And then we have uh, this part, did you learn anything else about snakes? In some religions, they're really important animals, and people have them for pets. I think people like them for pets because they like to have things that nobody else has. Well, that's more inventing. This part um, I should spend uh, time on. In some places, they have gotten rid of all the things they eat, like mice. They use mouse traps and stuff so the snakes don't live there anymore. And that's not the case, because what's happening is that the child is really... Uh, misinterpreting um, some of the information that's given in uh, this part of the essay where the population of rodents is going to go up as the number of snakes goes down. And so this child doesn't understand cause and effect either. But the easiest thing to do, let me just flip to the answer uh, really quick, is to do an outline. Now my introduction right here is too short. You need to really list out all of the weaknesses seen in that teacher-student dialogue. I was just trying to keep this on one page, so do please try to include all of the errors that the child makes with details, including skipping them and inventing them. I'm going to focus on expository text schema. I'm going to follow a story map uh, lesson plan, including a graphic outline, a pen, and a learning log. I'm going to use the same verbs of display and explain. I'm going to show my outline. I'm going to read the passage and highlight. I'm going to fill out the graphic outline. I'm going to complete the outline and ask literal and inferential questions. What's missing in this answer right here is you really should ask like a what question to demonstrate that you understand literal comprehension and maybe a why. And you should try to spell why correctly, okay? There. And that's an inferential question. And then the last thing you do, the last verb, is simply write a summary. Do your benefit. You have a graphic outline that makes schema concrete and visual. It shows how details are organized in the passage. It helps with elaborating and extending understanding of text. And it's concrete and visual. So that's how you're going to write up basically all of your expository text lessons with an outline using the verbs that we went over and using the format that uh, we've, been, we've been working with. So. Let me go back to the uh, workbook, and that takes care of the snakes essay, and let's go on now to pay, uh, part three, page seven, if we could. And uh, in part three, page seven, I just wanted to make sure that I covered expository text uh, with you. And in, in this passage, um, it's an activity where the teacher deletes the headlines from both editorials and regular news items. And this thing is loaded with opinion. You can read it for yourself. 
the student thinks that it's a regular news item, which is you know not really very true ever because uh, editorials have opinion that's true, regular news items should not. So what you have to do in here is you have to do an outline. Now when you do your outline in here, you can outline it and then do like a t-chart where you'll put the facts on one side and the opinions on the other. And I have uh, posted this, uh, this answer, so let me flip to it uh, really quick. You can print it out and use it. That all I'm going to do is state my need and I go on and on about the need. I'm going to focus on separating fact from opinion. I'm going to use a graphic outline and a t-chart and guess what? I'm going to display and explain. Here's my outline. We're going to find main and supporting ideas. Uh, and highlight them. We're going to fill out the graphic outline. And the only difference is that I'm a little bit uh, more specific in one more step where we're going to use a t-chart to separate fact from opinion and then they're going to write up a summary. I don't even want to read the benefit to you, okay, because it's just so easy and just so uh, so obvious. Um, for the rest of the essays, the I mean, the same format works. Uh, for the next question, for example, uh, on it looks like uh, it's on tides right here. Cause and effect will work, or a simple traditional outline is going to work for this. It's the same lesson plan format with the same verbs, and it is a graphic outline. Um, and so that really concludes the lesson plans that you have to know. Um, remember this. Take this away from my little presentation. If it's narrative text, do a story map. If it's expository text, do an outline. They're identical. The verbs are identical. Uh, just the particular lesson uh, or activity, rather, is what is the variable. Okay. We'll do uh, one more case study and then some short answers, and then you get to work. See you in a bit.